This one's going to be on TV Maxi. It's a uh, way to watch uh, free channels. So it's really not that hard to use. Basically, this is a front end to um, Sopcast. And you can do like HTTP, uh, MMS, and I think uh, was it RTMP, right? So most of that we talked about in the past, but this is like a front end to it. And it's real easy, just click around, stuff like that. So how do you use this? Right now they have these two uh, tabs in the side here. So this one's for TV channels and this one's for uh, radio channels. So one is for audio and the other one's for video too. Okay. Uh, and here they have different lists. So I'll show you the list in a minute. But you can show all here in Romania, international, adult stuff and all that. So let's say for example we do international. And if you want to watch something, let's say we watch uh, Al Jazeera here. Just double click on it and I'll say loading Al Jazeera. Right. So they have this little progress bar or whatever here. And there you go. That's how you would watch it. Now this one, let me see, let's click on uh, channel info here. This one is using RTMP, which we talked about a long time ago, right? How to get those ourselves. And that's how you watch in here, right? So in right here they have, what's that? Was a pause and stop. You can actually record it, aka just save it if you want. So you can save it and give it a name, whatever. Then you can save that to your MKV file. You can change the format if you want. I'll show you that in a minute. But uh, you can stop it and um, choose another channel if you want. Let's say you want to do Russia Today, then it'll connect to that. Uh, a couple of seconds here, right? And over here in the side, this is like you know full screen if you want to do that. And double click it again, you're back to normal. So that's it for that. So let's close it here, stop. Um, like I said, they have other uh, lists if you want to do that. Let's do all of them here. Some of these are subcasts, like this one here. Right, if you go to channel info, it says subcast. And basically, you put in your subcast channel and uh, it'll actually connect to it. So it's a front end to that also. And as far as for you can actually connect to PBX. I think it's like a paid subscription to uh, actual streaming um, TV shows and stuff like that. But I don't have an account to that. And let's go to preference here. Now in here in the preference, um, not really that hard to understand here. You have your internal backend here, your player. So depending if you have G streamer on there on your system then I'll use that or you can tell it to use M player or VLC as the back end or if you want to pop it out to a external player you can actually uh, just type in the commands here if you want right that's pretty much it, what you want to do in there and in here um, the advanced they do have your remote like a uh, infrared remote if you want to change some buttons around it's very basic though right? it doesn't have all the buttons that you can change um, and down here, this is to, you know, for your record settings, how you want it to uh, save it. So right now, it just uh, has the audio to copy, but you can change it to different formats if you want. Uh, and here's the container. Right now, it's using MKV, but uh, you can change some, you know, some other uh, ones if you want, like AVIs or whatever. Pretty much all you want to do in there. And yeah, that's about it for that subscription here. I like this thing. Uh, this is really convenient because it's kind of like a repository. You just uh, add in like you know your um, your language that you want to uh, watch. So for example, if you want to get a new list, you go click down here. It says more subscription list. Click on this sucker. Opens your browser here. And here, these are the lists for different uh, you know channels for different languages. So let's say we do uh, Russia here, right? And we we'll just copy this sucker. And let's go back into our uh, thing here. And I click add. And then you paste in that sucker. Add. And then you check this box. All right. And then you save it. And that's it. It's reloading. If it doesn't automatically reload, you can always go into list. And then you do like a refresh channel here. And, and there you go. It will refresh it um, for you. And the bottom here tells you how many channels you have. Right. So it has a. Uh, 255 channels in five subscriptions. So basically, you have five here, and this one it breaks it into different, uh, you know, languages uh, that you have here. So we just added Russia. Click on Russia, 
And then you connect to it. Let's see if it works though. Not sure. Not all these channels works because um, you know it's not all on all the time, or uh, maybe it's dead. But there you go. That's how you do that. And then stop to stop. Um, you can actually add in manually yourself if you want. Like uh, if you want to add a uh, a TV channel or something, you give it a name, URL, and uh, some flags that you want to do, and even an icon if you want. So that's pretty much it for the program. I mean, you can do sleep if you want to shut down in a certain time. Um, you know, right here, now shut down your computer, right? So that's it for that. If you want to use it, this is a front end. It's good for new users and stuff like that. Uh, if you're like an advanced user, you might want to use the command line, which uh, is possible also since I talked about most of these already. Anyways, that's it for this one. TV Maxi, if you want to get free channels to watch, uh, depending on your languages, that'll be it for this one.